Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. SSTO, SSTO, KSP, Algorithm, and all that jazz. So where to start? What, 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 what to talk about today? I mean, I just, I really, um, other than, you know, the other than the fact that you know, it's my birthday. But nobody cares about stuff like that. We want to talk more about what's going on with what's going on with KSP. KSP 2. I've watched Shadow Zone. I've watched Matt Lown. It looks like that KSP 2 is a sinking ship. Everything's on fire. People are screaming. The electricity went out. The whole end of the ship is up in the air. And it looks like it's slowly going down. People are jumping off into the water, life rafts everywhere, the works. What does this mean for the future of this channel? What does this mean for the future of KSP? Well, I mean, KSP by itself, the original KSP, the one that is a really well done game, still has its little bugs here and there, but for the most part, you throw a crap ton of mods, well, not even a crap ton of mods, a good handful of mods at it, and it beautifies the game up really well, and it's just a really nice game. You can even go to the extreme and turn it into a very realistic simulation, space simulator, like RSSRO, real solar system realism overhaul, get the real fuels the real engines the real aerodynamicness is the which i've played before and i've made an ssto out of <laughs> lord have mercy i can't stop it's not your typical ssto the one that's realism overhaul that i built it's more like a bullet but anyway so yeah where is this channel gonna go i mean ksp1 is a beautiful game but it's it's not growing in popularity anymore yes it's getting new people that are coming in every once in a while but it's it's kind of it's kind of capped off We'll still have new players, we'll still have KSP content, but the game itself has kind of capped off. And realistically, I don't see us doing this for another 10 years. This channel's, I can't believe this channel's been operational for almost 10 years now. It doesn't feel like it. Gosh, damn, where the, where the, where the, where the time go? It's sad that KSP2 did not do well. And who knows? KSP2 could do a miraculous Hail Mary and just rise back out of the ocean that it was sinking in and turn into the most luxury liner ever. The best ever. I mean, I particularly never seen it happen, but it's still a possibility. Nah, maybe. So where would I go? Where, where is this channel going? What, what, what are we looking at here? To be honest, uh, I'm still going to make KSP content because, you know, there are other games out there called, one called Juno. Um, uh, I'm definitely still looking at that. And there's some other games out there that where you can create stuff and go to space and whatnot. But what is this channel primarily? And this channel, from, from what I can piece together, if it didn't have KSP, the game, I think this channel would be a space channel, but more of a creative uh, building kind of channel. Channel, a, a designing kind of channel and even a storytelling channel for sci-fi genre. It just so happened that KSP or Kerbal Space Program was kind of a medium for that type of content. In KSP you can build ships, you can go all over the world, you can go over the solar system, land on different planets, create stories other than that, build ships of all kinds of different looks and designs, use very close to realistic Delta V fuel and all star jazz. I said close to because, well, as we all know, it's not realistic in any way, shape, or form, but moving on. So it's, it's kind of a medium in order to go into these different types of fields and talk and whatnot and, and be able to express my creativity in the sci-fi genre. I've always been into science fiction ever since I was little. That will never change. Now, regardless of how I do it or where I go with this channel, it's interesting because there's a bunch of possibilities, but inevitably it's gonna have to be something change is inevitable yes so right now it's more of a wait and see we're kind of on standby as it were where i'm gonna still make ksp content i'm even thinking about making an actual ksp game you can go ahead and read between the lines on that one but if some other game comes out that's space related perhaps even building space stuff and yes i'm not i'm not i'm not talking i'm not talking about games like Starfield or Surviving Mars or 
No Man's Sky, Space Engineers, there's another one, Astroneer, you know, all of these games are great and fun and all. And yes, some of them even have a creative flavor to create content, but as we all know, it's not KSP. It's not Kerbal Space Program with almost infinite amount of ways you can build and fly different things. From going underwater, to making a boat, to making a ground vehicle, to building an airplane, to building a spaceship, to building a space station to building a space colony i mean the creativity the level of things you can do is endless but sadly it does have an end i can only play ksp for so long before other games come out that overshadow ksp completely entirely not knowing when that's actually going to happen but it's a higher probability of that happening than ksp2 from coming back from the dead or dying but i know i've been talking about you know, making a... Mm, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I know I've been talking about doing things on an artistic level for the longest freaking time now. The reality of it is, is that the time necessary to do these things is very small. Small opportunities and small windows. I know I, I, know I, I, I like telling stories. I know I like building and designing things that are cool and functional at the same time. I know I'm into space and sci-fi. I like things that deal with engineering, like Stormworks and stuff of this nature. I'm really into open universe type of games, which KSP is pretty much open universe as hell. But you have others out there like EVE Online and Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous and all that jazz. I'm a big Star Wars and Star Trek geek. That's kind of the stuff I was raised on. I also like the old NASA feel of things when it comes to designing stuff. So who knows? I know there are a few things I want to check off the bucket list before I actually start implementing real changes to the channel. But ultimately, I want to know what all of you think. I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, Veos, you know, do what you love and we're here for you. And gosh damn it, I love you for it. But I know there's some others out there who also have good ideas to do stuff. Other ideas of whatnot. And like I said, I read all the comments. I look at all the avenues. And it helps me gauge a better understanding of which direction I want to take this channel. And yes, when I go and record games and things that I think are actually going to get views, they never do. But that's mostly because of the algorithm. I know the algorithm, you can, I can take a video of water dripping from the ceiling call it ksp ssto and the algorithm will pick it up and show it to a thousand people but if i grab a ksp video and say water dripping from the ceiling as its title the algorithm will literally cut it off moving on no no moving on anyway anyway therefore therefore the wife's gonna go ahead and take over your channel therefore <laughs> So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, any 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 dialogue, any comments, any questions, any answers. My wife will answer all of them. No, but well, of course yeah. I'll answer them because wifey's always right. Yeah, yeah, wifey's always right. She'll just say no to everybody, no to all. I'll make it right. But anyway, so that's not necessarily true. <sighs> Don't speak for me. Are you speaking for me? How rude. Anyway. Anyway. Love you all so much. Please be safe. He really doesn't. And all the hell, oh my gosh. And all this, <laughs> there's, you know, member, the membership thing and... I just lost the entire intro, uh, extra, uh, intro, uh, 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 outro. I lost it all. There's the stuff. You, you guys know that. You, there you go. And and whatnot. Okay. See you next time I make a video. Bye bye. Golly, I just that just you just destroyed that. You destroyed it. There's no coming back from this. Ah. Oh. Fuck. <laughs>